Hello, welcome to number one question, number four question of CMO pointers, arrays, and strings. Okay, right. The fourth question says write a function that reverses the content of an array of integers. This is the prototype. This is the prototype where n is the number of elements of the array. So the first thing we are going to do is to, for us to test it, we are going to create the 4-main.c file, which is all this file here, okay? Which is all this file down to this place, right? So please do not forget that. Then after that, we will create this file okay then we'll compile it remember that we have already created the main dot header file this prototype on the main header check the first video the zero the, the zero tax okay so let's go into our sandbox and uh yes what do we have there we have okay so what we'll do now is we see we create the main, the, the main file, right? Just stay on the in the C. So this is it. This is all the one I just showed you then. Okay, and let's create it in the box. Okay, so I'll pause and get back. So I've put them all here. This is the sample, the main file, which is the Remember, we have the main, the header here, and then we have the, we, this is the main file section, this place here, then we have the main, so we have the function here, then we have the main down here, this is the main down here, okay, make sure that you copy it from the example that is given, then uh, make sure that they are in alignment. Then you save it, okay. Then you save it. Let's clear our browser now. Boom. The next thing we are going to do now is, the next thing we are going to do now is to, to write the file, this file, the code in this file now, okay. As so we need to write the code now. So let's say B. Okay, now we need to write the code. So pause again and try to type. You can see this is the code I've written out. So this is it. So once you're done, make sure you save it. After we save, you can see it here from. from here. I see there. This is the main. These are the comments. Okay. So what we do now is reduce the screen. Then save it. Now let's clear the screen. Next thing we are going to do now is to go and compile it. So let's go and compile it and wait for there's any error to work together. Okay. Then, oh. What do we carry? Oh, we took the wrong. The wrong code. Okay, this is this. Okay. So, so this that was an error. So let's compile them. Okay. You can see the code run, run the compile rather. Then let's see four right. And see inside is convert to let's go 
and take this one down so please subscribe and like this video share it thank you